Here we are at the exterior of the townhouse in Montrose. The facade that is on the main part of the street, looking down and then back going up the hill. Just going to walk towards the front door and then take a glance back so you have an idea what's on the other side of the street. Okay, in we go. It's a wonderful entrance hall here. Very nicely furnished. Spacious. Just looking down here. We're going to take a tour of the first floor and then move upwards to the upper level and then we will be going back down to see the level below. We've got the kitchen immediately here on the left, as well as here on the right, looking down towards the lower level. The lights here are motion sensor. So there they are. We'll be going down there after we see the top floor. You immediately enter the house and we are in the living room and dining room. It's a shared open space. To the left is the dining room. Which has a nice breakfast bar that communicates with the kitchen. Excellent fixtures. Looking back towards the front door of the home, over towards our left now, with our backs to the yard, is the living room with fireplace. I'm going to move backwards so you have a full view of the living room. If you notice, there's a door to the rear left we're going there now. It's a separate wing to the living room that the owners have been using as a TV room. It's a nice space. There's a window there in the rear that has its shutters closed. We'll be shooting from the backyard so you'll have a good idea of what the window looks out onto. Just going to the back of the room, I'll show you some of the work that's been done here in the arches, as well as the windows. It's a very quiet space. As we look down here, to the garden in the back, you'll notice that some significant changes have been made. A swimming pool is being installed with currents to make it easier to swim laps. I'm going to look back from the couch area here towards the TV and back out to the living room. In the background, you'll notice the stairs that are leading up to the next level. They are enclosed in glass, so it maintains a quiet atmosphere when there's entertaining happening in the living room and there are people upstairs. At the same time, it creates a nice amount of space. Uh, it's a nice touch. We're going to go and visit 
the terrace towards the rear of the apartment, and then we'll go on to the kitchen. Just looking here at the dining room again. Kitchen to the left. There is a table out here on the terrace with sliding glass doors. I'm going to open them now. Not the most beautiful day here in Cannes today, but it's not raining. As you can see, there's a decent space here with table, open view, and again, we're going to highlight the backyard space here where the pool is being built. We've got space here for a car. Perhaps two. There's barbecue space towards the back. And then the owners have parked their car outside of this patio space. And the person who's doing the work on the apartment on the house at the moment is parked in front. The owners have rite of passage there. So it makes it an excellent place for parking their car. Okay. We're gonna go back inside. A look here up towards the top of the house again we'll be looking at this from a further vantage point later when we view downstairs the house next door into the TV room and back all right let's go back inside Have a look at the kitchen now. If you remember, here's the entrance door. It's a secured door, very sturdy. Here we are in the kitchen. Double sinks, excellent storage space, all the amenities. Everything is very nicely laid out. Go back around there. Nice finishes here on the kitchen. As we look towards the back of the house in the kitchen, you can see that there is plenty of light. So even on a day like today, that is overcast, and raining. Not at the moment, however. There's another window in the kitchen here, which exits out to the front of the house. I'm just going to give you a little view here. It is as we were facing the house, immediately to the left of the front door. We're going to proceed back to the entrance hall and go visit upstairs. We're in the entrance hall now. You'll notice that the owners have made use here of the space. The blinds. We'll open the blinds just so you can have an idea of what is outside. Again, that's the view that we had earlier from before at the front door. We'll be going upstairs. Just to give you an idea of the quality of the interior of the home. Beautiful hardwood. You'll notice here the window that looks out to the living room. Gives a great light here. They've opened up the space. We are at the landing with access to the bedrooms and the bathroom. We're going to go immediately in front of ourselves to a younger person's room. Have a look.
this window looks out to the front of the house. Now, we're looking down the stairs, we're on the landing, I'm going to continue, and we're going to have a look here into this bedroom. Looking back out to the landing, heading over to the windows, again it's a familiar view. Around. Now this bedroom has access, which is shared with the master bedroom, onto a small terrace space that looks out to the back of the house. We're going to go have a look at the bathroom, and then we'll go into the master bedroom, which you'll notice has the shared access here with this terrace space. Again, just have a look at the space here in this bedroom. Out to the landing, we have our steps immediately here to the right. Master bedroom, children's bedroom, excellent cupboard, cupboard space, and a lovely bathroom. So we'll take a moment here to highlight some of the details. Again, we are looking back out onto the road below, just to give you an idea. And we're going to exit the bathroom and we will be going to the master bedroom. The master bedroom, as you remember, has access to this terrace space. The owner has been using it as a place to do some working out. You could definitely imagine having a treadmill here, perhaps even an exercise bike. Beautiful finishes, plenty of storage space. It's actually amazing how quiet it is. Very peaceful setting. And the master bedroom is the master bath. So we've come in this door and immediately to our left coming into the bedroom if you notice we have access to the master bath which is beautifully done now take a walk inside this window we can look out to the yard 
have a quick peek at the work that's being done below. I think it's really going to be nice with the pool. The shower, the bath, Beyond is the toilet, heated towel racks, door, sinks, the day. And now we're going to head out of the bathroom, back to the master bedroom. Have a quick look around before we leave and head down to the lowest level of the home with access directly to the garden. Again, beautiful cupboard space, such a commodity here in the European property market. We're heading back down the stairs. Continuing on to the lower level. Motion sensor lights.